bloody. How do you lads? Would you like some cup of tea? Mm. Mm. Exquisite. This is a top level refreshment. Wow. Mm. Oof, it's a good stuff. <laughs> oh, how you do, lads? It's Fire Rose. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing this uh this is a very formal outfit here. So of course recently I looked around the internet and found some of these memes about how to learn English in under 10 days or 30 days and all that kind of stuff. I am a Pluto! We are a gangster! So I really wanted to, you know, try these apps out because I'm really curious. Like we have an app here spoken English in 30 Bruh. days 30 days how can you learn English that quickly in only 30 days you need months or even years of your entire life dedicated to becoming super duper fluent in English but I don't know this app is claiming it 30 days wow okay 4.2 oh. stars <laughs> okay and a million downloads oh. well that's okay 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 well, let's give this a try then and here we are. <laughs> wow, that is just... Wow, what a simple interface, really. There's nothing else. Just spoken English, spoken oh. reading, writing, quiz, and grammar. Oh, yes, quiz. Oh, yes. Let's see how really good am I. I, I haven't, like, learned English subjects in, like for, you know, like, for years, really. I mean, the last time I learned English on school was, like, back in junior high school and all that kind of stuff. And that was years ago, really. But, you know... Let's see if I can recall some of the other stuff that I've learned back in elementary or high school, you know, because English here is, is a secondary language. English is also part of our curriculum in here. So, you know, people had to learn English, but not everyone in here is fluent in English at the end. You know, they could be good, but sometimes they wouldn't. Leave what you want and want to what you leave. Anyways, uh, we got dialogue? What is it? It's just ads. I guess these are dialogue examples, really. We got... Uh, present tense, you know, does or do, what's the difference between does or do, of course, it's easy. Is, are, uh, am, yes, has, have, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an example dialogue, like, we got Alex and Linda talking to each other. Do you stay in California? <laughs> so I'm guessing Linda is not British. No, I stay in New York. Oh my god, bro. For Hannah? And S Sumia? This doesn't sound English. Is Shema reading the same book? No, that is a different one. Are you not going to the market? No, I'm not. Is it father in government service? Bruh, Why bruh, you keep on asking bruh, bruh, questions? Bruh, bruh. Stop asking questions, it's annoying. Stop it. Uh, yeah, this is just a bunch of you know, sample dialogues, you know, examples and all that stuff. It's nothing really relevant, but if you're actually going to learn English, I'm not sure if this is the best way to actually get started, especially if you're like in a completely foreign language. I'm imagining right now a Chinese man downloading this app, not having a single clue what English sounds and looks like, and then just looking at this because he only has a week left until his vacation in England with his Chinese relatives yeah. staying in there. And you really thought that he, that person, is gonna learn all this in under 30 days as it's claimed here. Hi, everyone, I'm Elon Musk. Uh, uh, thank you. This app is only for like people who already have some background in English, but just wanted to improve on with the language and all that stuff. But there's no A B C D in here. If you're a Chinese or a Korean or Japanese or any any other language that doesn't have the Latin Bruh. script as the written language, yeah, this is not the best way to learn English, folks. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, yeah, it's just with the class teacher, different situations, scenarios, conversation with the boy, a guest, getting ready for office. Seriously? You really thought this is gonna be the best way to learn English, really? For Christ's sake. I'm pretty sure that if you're actually going to be learning English, it's not the best way to, like, memorize these. And then once you're, once you're in an English country and you're being forced to speak, it's like, you're gonna think of at least any of those dialogues, questions, or conversations that you've learned from this app, you can recall from the back of your cerebrum, and then, you know, answer randomly, I guess. Uh, salutation words? Okay. 
Ooh, okay, so these are the different, okay, it's just different salutations. You know, maybe, for example, you wanted to, like, give a gift to a friend in England or something. Oh, great, thanks a lot. It's okay, I don't know what I would have done. This is good. This is not a great way to learn English. Maybe, I'm not sure. Have you actually tried this app? What is your experience with this? Uh, leave it down in the comments section. I really wanted to know. I'm really damn curious about it. Oh, wait, we got exclamations here. Of course, marvelous. <laughs> Should it? Oh, good heavens. Ah. Oh, yeah, there should be some that British slangs in here. Okay, now let's move on to the grammatical test. Oh, boy. Pretty sure I can still recall most of these, like the adverb, the parts of speech. <laughs> Easy as hell. It's part of our curriculum. But, you know, as you grow up, you don't use this much in your everyday life here in my country, so you forget about them. Hopefully not for me. Let's try a degree of comparison first. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 no, there's a lot of them. Oh, no, this is a lot of questions. It's up to... What? A hundred? That's a lot of questions. But I guess 30 days, probably? <laughs> 30 days, yeah, whatever. Maybe let's try up to number five for this one. You know, just to test if I can still recall some of the English lessons and all that stuff. Okay, let's try number one first. We were no more surprised than ramen. It doesn't sound English. I'm guessing maybe someone who developed this app is in, from England. Or uh, okay, we were no more surprised than Raman. Let's A, we were less surprised than Raman. We were all surprised. Raman was less surprised. Okay, uh. We were as surprised as Raman. I think it's D, because, you know, it's not like it's no more than he. than that they are no more surprised, but rather maybe just as surprised as Raman? Or we were all surprised. No, it's not, you know, they weren't surprised as no more surprised. So I think it's maybe D. Yes! This is so goddamn easy! Okay, we were surprised as Raman. Okay, okay, one point. Dhaka is becoming one of the blank cities in Asia. One of the busiest. Of course, you can't say most busiest, even though sometimes I do mistakenly say that in normal conversations, but, you know, it's just me making mistakes. You know, humans make mistakes. But, yeah, it's, it's, it, that's wrong. So, it's busiest. It's one of the busiest. Yeah, there's no comparison. It's superlative. Yeah, yeah, there's all that stuff. Yeah, I got it right. It's, it's very, very straightforward. Okay, two points. I thought that blank was the last one. Uh, A, the most prettiest of all. B, prettiest one of all. Prettiest one from all. No, uh, produced. I thought, yeah, there should be definitely be the. One doesn't sound right, so I think it's D. Should be D. Easy as heck. <laughs> Number four. She's beautiful, but she is blank. Her mother. So I think it's C. No! <laughs> oh, okay, I got one wrong so far, so maybe at least number five is gonna be a correct one. Of the two boys, Latif is intelligent. It's just the two of them. Latif is more intelligent, so yeah, it's B. Easy. Okay, so I think I got four out of five there. So far, so good. Four star out of five. Uh, let's go to adverbs. Okay, this one's shorter, or maybe not. No, it's not. There's 52 questions. I'm not gonna be answering all of that. Okay, let's go up to five only. The mother sat vigilantly beside the sick baby. Here, vigilantly is an adverb. Yeah, that's definitely an adverb. There is an L-Y at the end. It's right next to a verb. It uh, identifies a verb, so... It's an adverb. Simple as that. Honey is very sweet. Yeah, I'm coming now. It's just plain and simple, you know? Just very sweet. Easy. Day of my sister's marriage is drawing near. Near is... A and drawing, so this is a verb, so this is gonna definitely be an adverb. Can't be a preposition. Yeah, because my first instinct was like, oh, it's a preposition because it's near, right? No, it's right next to a verb. Drawing is drawing, and it's a verb, so therefore it should be an adverb. D. I need a, I need a T. Ah, oh, blimey. The Olympic Games were watched by billions of people all over the world. Uh, exactly? No. So it doesn't have to be like exactly because it's an estimate. I think it's D for literally. Okay. Number five. Okay, last one. He stopped his car blank when the light turned red. Uh, I think it's A abruptly. It's the That's like the closest answer really. Abruptly. Okay, I got five out of five there. Uh, articles. Okay, we got articles. Use the appropriate article. I saw A. Easy. Which word is the determiner of the sentence? Will it take much time? A determiner? I can't recall that term. Oops. Oh <laughs> I think it's much. Uh, like, you know, it's like determining the, the word time, you know. 
Uh, like, will it take more time? Will it take less time? I don't know. Let's see. let's guess. I think I'm just guessing at this point. Oh. Number three. Blank Amazing Song haunted me for a long time. Uh, that, because it's just a singular amazing song. Okay, easy. Number four. The French refers to French people or the language. I don't have enough context of this one. <laughs> I think maybe I haven't, like, read the lessons on this app. <laughs> didn't know the answer to this one. Maybe it's the people, the French, uh, because it's the. If it if it doesn't have a the on it, then it should be just the language. It's the people. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I spent blank with the patient. Uh, some time. Yeah. You know this is a pretty easy. Oh my God damn it! I'm not I'm not wasting enough time on this. Let's try another, let's try other apps on the Play Store that does all these kind of things. Spoken English in 10 days? <laughs> this thing exists. You can learn spoken English in just 10 days? But hey, you got 4.5 stars. Maybe this might not be bad. Oh wait, this is from the same developer. Oh, okay. All right. But let's, let's give this a try then. Let's see what this one has to offer. Oh. <laughs> the same it's the same interface look at that <laughs> okay this one okay does have some other stuff in here really yeah there's there's still dialogues and conversation but there's much more like seriously if this is just in 10 days and it has more than the ones in 30 days that means you can learn what it doesn't it doesn't make any sense okay 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 this one is more definite yeah this one has more lessons you can learn about uh, tense, different tenses, you know, present perfect, past participle. Yeah, I've learned all of these. Come on. You got examples. I mean, this one isn't bad. I mean, it literally has, you know, it definitely teaches you how, what a how to construct a past continuous tense, for example, with the with a formula. So this one is much better than the 30 days. Do yourself. Okay. Oh, the do verbs. Yeah, yeah. Do I do the work? <laughs> I haven't done the work. <laughs> I did the work. How long have you done the work? I wasn't doing the work. Yet. Okay, so there's much more in this app really than the other one. Uh, feature perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chances. Okay, is there any quizzes here? No. Okay, so there's no quizzes here. So this one is more like you know just examples. Uh, it has more lessons. You know, it's more in depth than the other one. It's just about conversations and stuff. So yeah, I guess maybe you can download both of these and you can definitely learn English in 40 days. Ha 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 